Hey guys, welcome back to the Movie Kid Channel with another video, and my hair is, you know, crazy. Um, it's just a lazy, lazy Sunday, so, yeah. Okay, so, get to the point. So, today's video, I'm going to show you my complete, well, not complete, my entire Disney Blu-ray collection. And they're going to be showing you my Walt Disney Animation Studios, my Pixar um, Animation Studios, and as well as the live-action um, Disney films. So this is everything, um, you know, right here next to my Mickey Supreme, you know, you know, I had this plush for a long time since I was young, very little, um, you know, funny because I just, I just finished watching Slumdunk Millionaire for the very first time and I just actually forgot to do the intro for the Disney Blu-ray collection and here we are and on my phone with my hair being so crazy, I don't like it at all, it's just... Yeah, it is what it is. It's Lazy Sunday and my pork is photoshopping, you know, for the bomb right there. And yeah, without further ado, enjoy, sit back and yeah, have fun. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Pinocchio, Dumbo. There you go. Bambi, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, with this really gorgeous slip cover, Lady and the Tramp, Sleeping Beauty, my number two favorite Disney animated films. Um, just love, love, love this one. The music, the cinematography, I mean, the animation is gorgeous to watch. And the Maleficent is one of my favorite Disney villains. I mean, come on, she turned to a dragon. How cool is that? We got 101 Dalmat um, Dalmatians with this mirror of foil zip cover. The Jungle Book. Everybody want to be a cat, the Aristocats. Um, a fun one. I really do enjoy that one. Robin Hood. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. The Rescues and the Rescues Down Under. I love the Rescues Down Under. Such an incredible, um, epic, just a charming film and just beautiful animation of course and the rescuers is also just a really good one the fox and the hound and also include fox and the hound 2 which i never seen but i've seen the original and the original is really good the great mouth detective this is a fun fun underrated um disney animated film i just love it so much and bits and parts as a villain i mean that's i mean that's awesome Oliver and Company, The Little Mermaid with his awesome slip cover, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, look at that slip cover, it's amazing, holographic, The Lion King, Pocahontas and Pocahontas 2, Journey to a New World, I've never seen the sequel but I've seen the first one and I really like the first one but it's you know, it's not good, but, you know, I enjoyed it for the animation. The animation is phenomenal in that. Yeah, oops. We got the Hunchback of Notre Dame. It also includes the sequel, which I heard is not that good. Um, but the original, though, is just phenomenal. It's a very dark story. It's a dark Disney story. But it's an incredible film. Nonetheless, the music is wonderful. The animation is wonderful. The dark... The gargoyles are a wonderful side character to the main lead and the villain. Um, I forgot the villain name, but um, obviously I cannot find it. But the villain, his song is just so dark and creepy and eerie. I just love it so much. We got Hercules, Mulan and Mulan 2. Really great film. Oh, my childhood favorite, Tarzan. I love the songs. I mean, You'll Be My Heart still remains one of my favorite Disney songs. 
other than I see the light from Tangled. Um, just love this one, the animation. So very nostalgic to me. Um, you know, just, just, and you know, it holds a very special place in my heart. Dinosaur, not bad at all. Um, the Emperor New Groove, such a hilarious, underrated, hidden gem film. And I've never seen Kong's New Groove, but I'm really kind of excited because I, I do love Kong's. Um, he's the highlight in the first movie. Um, just, it's just hilarious. And John Goodman's in this, it's just, yeah. Another hidden gem, um, underrated film that is Atlantis The Lost Empire. I've seen the sequel, Max Return, it's not good. But The Last Empire is still very nostalgic to me and just I love this movie so much. Um I kinda wish um this movie had more success, but it's just phenomenal. We are one of my favorites, my top three for sure. That is Lil and Stitch. Um It holds a special place in my heart. It's very nostalgic for me. Um it's sci-fi meets Disney. I mean come on, yes, and um, just love the characters and the story is just wonderful. Um, everything about this movie is just, it's heart. It's just heart. Um, yeah. A Hidden Gem, an underrated film that tries a planet. I love this movie. I don't care. I love the animation. I love the story about um, the main character trying to be a man, trying to prove that he is something. He is somebody. And just a great, um, you know, we take of a story, Treasure Island, but in a sci fi spin on it and just. Really love this one. I remember seeing this one in theaters and just uh so good. Brother Bear and Brother Bear 2. Brother Bear is not a bad movie, um not great either. But you know, it's just a mess to me. And yeah. Bolt The Prince of the Frog. This is the very last two D animated film before we went to the full on three D animated um Film, but I love this one. I mean, I saw it in theaters. I when I remember watching the trailers, I was like, nope, not my kind of film. It's a girl. It's a girly, girly, girly film. Then I saw this movie in theaters, and I just fell in love with the story and the characters and the animation as well. It's just a phenomenal um film. And sad the very last to the animated film before I believe Winnie the Pooh is also the very last to the animated film, but but this is the last one, the main one. And just, you know, it's a great send off. Then we got one of my favorite Disney animated film of all time. My number one, that is Tangled. Um, I bought the slip cover um separately on eBay because, I uh, there is yeah that that's why, um because this film needs a slip slip cover, and I love this movie. You have no idea. I saw it in theaters, and I'm so glad I saw it in theaters. I love the character. I love Flynn and Rapunzel. The chemistry works. Zachary like Levi, Mandy Moore. The music is phenomenal. I see the light is one of my favorite songs um, in the movie. Just a, a wonderful, wonderful film with great animation. It's just, mm, I prefer this over Frozen, in my opinion. And I kind of wish um, this has more recognition, just like the way Frozen did. But, you know, phenomenal film. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Wreck it Ralph. It's just a fun, fun, inventive film. The most overrated film of all time, but I do like this movie that is Frozen. It is overrated. Let's move on. Big Hero 6, where's my sequel? I need my sequel to this movie. I love this movie so much. Look at that sub cover. It's amazing. Um, we got Zootopia. Really great stuff. Moana. Uh, music by Le Manu Miranda, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Uh, this is so much fun. The animation is so gorgeous to look at in the big screen. Um, just love, love, love this one. And it's just, you know, you're welcome. We have Ralph Break the Internet. Uh, it's not as good as the first one, but I do enjoy it though. Um, nothing too special with this one, but you know, in the end, did I enjoy this movie? Yes. Um, I did enjoy it. I love the Disney princess for my favorite um part of the movie. Um I need more of that, please, Disney. And we got first two. Was after the documentary, the making of documentary that that was released on Disney Plus, um, I became a um appreciate about this movie. Um, you know, the hard work that goes in. Um you know, it's not bad at all. I mean 
I prefer, honestly, I prefer this over Frozen. Is that a hot take? I don't know. But I do enjoy this one a whole lot. I mean, the animation obviously is just gorgeous. But yeah, that's Frozen 2. Oh. We are celebrating Mickey. This is a 13 shorts that I'm involved with Disney. You know, includes theme for Willy. Um, this is a great blue release um, because, yeah, it includes Timber Willy, the band concert, through the mirror, white Mickey rival, but builders, this like iconic stuff, like, you know, the best stuff of Mickey's shorts. Um, this is a phenomenal release. I kind of wish they have a very extensive release, like, at, like 30 shorts back then being 13, but hopefully in the future there'll be more of these because I really do enjoy, I'm going to move that side so I can have loose um, space. Okay, we have the short film collection. This is the Walt Disney Animation short films. We have all of Frozen Adventure. I got this because there's also include other Disney shorts in, in this. We have the picture short film collection volume one. Um, my favorite is Jerry's Game. I That's the name of it. Um, yeah, Jerry's Game, just a phenomenal short. I love that short so much. So much fun and heart and just love it. Yeah, Pixar Short Film Collection Volume 2. La Luna is uh, beautiful. I believe this one includes, um, Bernie, Day and Night is hilarious. Um, La Luna is beautiful. Presto is fun. You know, some good stuff here and there. Yeah, Pixar Short Film um, Collection Volume 3. This includes um, the yeah the blue and bullets in this one, and it's just a beautiful short. I love that short so much. And Lava is also incredible. Piper's incredible. Bow is incredible. Like you got some stiff stuff here. Now we go to the picture. I have all the picture films up to date. Um, obviously, Soul is not included because it had not yet released on Blu-ray. Hopefully, it does, but we'll see. Toy Story, the one that started all. A Bug Alive Underrated Hidden Gem. Um, this is basically a Seven Samurai story, but with bugs. And I love it very much. We have Toy Story 2. A worthy sequel, in my opinion. Monster Inc. Uh, yeah, my child favorite. I love this one. But nothing tops. One of my favorite films. One of my favorite Pixar films. That is Funny Nemo. This movie holds a special place in my heart because this is the first movie I ever saw in theaters and it's my first Pixar movie I ever saw and just this is so special because I received my hearing aid um, for the very first time when I was four years old and after that we went to see Finding Nemo and it was really special. The Incredibles, oh man, I'm so glad I saw this in theaters when I was a kid. I love this movie. I have no idea. This has been a replay many, many times in home, in my home, and just love this one. Brad Bird, mm, so good. We have Cars, which is just meh, but I do enjoy it for what it is. Ratatouille, oh, such a good one. Wally, -E, just phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. Love it. It's Pixar and sci fi, yes, please. And then we got up. <sighs> this movie is phenomenal. I love everything about this movie. The, yes, the first 10 minutes of the film is incredible, but there's more than that to this movie and just great stuff. I love this movie. I saw it in theaters. Um, and I've got Toy Story 3, which is a phenomenal um, conclusion to one of the best trilogy ever. And Lost of the Bear is one of the best Pixar villains with an incredible backstory, just, uh, that's how you do a, a villain done right, and flesh out the, uh, the character of Lasso, just give him more understanding what his motivation are, it's a phenomenal movie, and this movie, I cry every time I watch this movie, and it's still due to this day, because it's just that good of a film. Brave. Actually, let's talk about this one a little bit. Um, when I saw this in theaters, I did not like this movie at all. But when I watched this movie on Blu-ray, I became appreciative of this movie. I liked it. Um, I like this movie. I don't love it, but I do like it. I do like the story. Um, just a whole lot. But you know, I really do enjoy this movie. I came to appreciate over the years, and 
you know, I'm gonna, I, I, I appreciate this movie for what it is. Oh, Mountain University. Underrated. Um, this is so special. Um, I kind of wish we got like an actual sequel, not a prequel, but I really do love this one. It's just so much heart and just hilarious as well. It's just phenomenal stuff. And then let me move a little bit and we got Inside Out, which is just a masterpiece Dr. by Pig Doctor. Another film that is, is a hidden gem and underrated. Um, that's The Good Dinosaur. I am the one of the few majority of the people who love this movie. And yeah, I really do love that one. Yeah, Funny Dory. Which is not a bad sequel. I really do enjoy the sequel a whole lot. Um, the animation obviously looks beautiful, but yeah. And then we got Cars 3, which is just better than Cars 2. And that's all I can say. Oh, okay. Coco. I may be biased because I'm Mexican. And I love this movie so much. I mean... The songs remember being it remember me sorry excuse me um is phenomenal one of the best um to um excuse me I have to excuse a little bit more but um yeah I love this movie I cry in theater this is so special to me because um to, you know I'm Mexican and this is such an amazing incredible film um incredible to a movie we I mean. A sequel been asking for years and years and years and years, and boom, we finally have a sequel after like fifteen years or fourteen years, whatever. I've been, you know, I know that I've been asking my dad, "Where the sequel to this? Where the sequel to Incredibles? Where is it?" And boom, here it is. It's in my hand, and I love this one. I think the sequel is a really good um follow up to the Incredibles, and hopefully they'll make the third one soon. But I want, I want to, I want pictures to stay away from the sequels. And focus on the more originals, and so we can have the Incredibles three like in a perfect time. But for now, I want the original films and less sequels. Um, we got a very unnecessary sequel, but I can admit it's actually a good movie. But it's not as good as you know, um, uh, as Toy Story three or you know, Toy Story. But that's not it. Or Toy Story two or Toy Story, but. You know, it's not bad. Um, I love the addition of Jordan Peele and Michael Keegan. Keegan Key, um, love the duo. And Forky is the best. And also Keanu Reeves at Duke and Boom is just hilarious. Um, I do enjoy some moments here and there. But is it a worthy sequel? I don't know. Um, it's going to take time to say that. We have Onward with... Uh, this film was my last movie I saw in theaters before it went shut down, before lockdown happens. And, I, yeah, it's really great. Um, I love it. Sadly, no sip cover. We have Jungle Book 2. And I don't know why I have this, but okay. And now we get to the live action stuff. We got Mary Poppins, classic, iconic, duh. Um, this one I have not yet seen. That's Pete Dragon. Um, looking forward to seeing this one, but I've seen the remake though. We have the original The Bumper movie. Um, just a classic, um, iconic, just wonderful, delightful, fun. We have Tron, the original classic. It's a very inventive, creative, and just awesome movie. And Kurt Russell is in this one, so that's the bonus. We got Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I actually included it because this is not part of the Disney canon, even though it's made by. Touchstone, but I had it there for a reason. Hocus Pocus, um, so much fun. Heavyweights, um, Ben Stiller in this movie. This is hilarious, very cheesy, but I really do enjoy it. We have Remembrance of the Titans. Oh, remember the Titans, sorry. Denzel Washington gives a great performance. Really good movie. Oh, we have one of my guilty pleasures. The Princess Diaries and The Princess Diaries 2. Shut up. I like the movies. The Rookie. Then it's great. The first Pirate the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. This is so much fun. This is great. This is epic. The music is phenomenal. Great cast. Really great movie. I'm hoping we can make it. They can do a remake on this. I want like a PG-13 hard horror film. For the Haunted Mansion, but obviously we didn't get that. We got like an Eddie Murphy downgrade horror. It's not even scary, that scary at all. But you know, 
it's not bad at all if I rewatch this movie. Miracle. National Treasure. This is just amazing. One of my childhood favorites. Oh, man. Where's my sequel? I need my sequel to this. Rest in peace to her. I forgot her name. Excuse me. I'm an idiot. Uh, Kelly Preston. Kelly Preston. Rest in peace, Kelly Preston. But this is my childhood favorite of mine. I love this movie. Um, Just... Where's my sequel? I need my sequel. And also Kurt Russell in this movie. That's not a bonus. Bring to Terror Video. This is not a bad movie. Um, after we watching it. I remember seeing this one in, in class. And because we read the book. And I remember not liking it back then. But when we watched this movie. This is not bad at all. Um, really enjoyed that. We have Qu The Chronicles of Narnia. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. This is epic. This is so much fun. I love this movie so much. It's one of my child's favorites. Invincible, starring Mark Wahlberg. We have Pirates, um, Pirates of the Caribbean 2, Dead Man Chess. Um, not a bad sequel, but not as good as the first one. Pirates of the Caribbean 3, as well and I have not yet seen this one because it's been a while. Um, I have not yet rewatched this one, but I gotta rewatch that one. We have Enchanted. Uh, really great stuff. Um, can I wait for a sequel that's coming up? National Treasure 2, Book of Sequel. This is really good. Um, Both National Treasure, the first one and the second one, are really equally good. Um, Now I'm waiting for the third one. I want my third one. We have The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. Um, not a bad sequel. Really good sequel, as a matter of fact. But it's epic, and I really... And um, this one, National Treasure 2, I saw it in theaters as well. Um, You know, yeah. And then this is not Disney, but I decided to put this next to it. That's the the Chronicles of Narnia, the Voyage on the Dawn Treader. I saw this in theaters. This is very special to me. A very nostalgic to me. Um, but not a bad um follow up as well. But you know, it missing the charm though. Um, you know, from the first two. But it is what it is. Okay. Hannah Montana the movie. Let's move on. Prince of Persia at the same time, uh, it's okay. Ways to Witch Mountain, which is not a bad movie at all. I really do enjoy this one. Um, you know, not bad. And we got a very underrated hidden gem film that Tron Legacy 3. Yes, it's the Chijai is on, um, on Jeff Bridges. Um, it's not good at all, but the movie. It's great. It's basically so striking to look at. It's, it's a beautiful film to look at, but hopefully they'll do a third one soon in the future. Okay, we're almost done. We're in the third, last show for my Disney collection. We got Prom. Yeah, I got it for a dollar. It's illicit juice, but I got it for brand new factory seal with a slip cover. Um, but I've never seen it though, so I have nothing to comment on that. We have the Muppets. Um, with Jason Segel, I really love this one. I saw it in theaters and it was a full surprise. I um, really love this one. So much fun. Um, the music is great. Um, just, it was so good to see the Muppets again in a big screen. You know, it's like, it's great. I'm gonna put Seth down so I can, you know, lose things. Um, oh, not you. Um, yeah, John Carter, underrated. Oh my God, this movie is so much fun. So great, Mark Strong's in this one. Um, Love that one, and I'm really hoping we can make a sequel to this. Um, but I know it's not gonna happen because they lost a lot of money on this one. We have the All Live with Tim the Green. This is not a bad movie. Um, charming, delightful, heartwarming, and that's all you needed. And also, Lim and Miranda is in this. Save me the bank, Tom Hands as Walt Disney. Yes, it's a really great film. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. It's charming. It's fun. Um, it's not bad at all. Stick curls in it. I mean, that's what I'm reason I saw this in theaters. Um, but you know, it's not bad. I mean, I enjoyed it. McFarland USA. Cinderella. Um, directed by um Kenneth Branagh. Um, this is not a bad Disney remake. One of the better um Disney remakes. Um, you know, really enjoy this one. Uh, underrated. Underrated. Tomorrowland. And that's why I had the poster, excuse the mess in my bed, but there you go, I had the poster for Tomorrowland. And, yeah. Enough said, underrated masterpiece.
Well, not really the masterpiece. I mean, the third act of the film, yes, it struggled a little bit on the third act. But I really love this one when the story goes. We have the, the Jungle Book star, I mean, directed by John Favreau. Phenomenal stuff. They did something new um, and something different from the original film. And it is a visual striking to look at. I mean, the anim the CGI is phenomenal in this. Peach Dragon, the remake. Um, not bad. I really do enjoy, I do enjoy it. Being the Beats, um, hmm. It's not as good as the original, but I do enjoy it, though. We have Christopher Robin, which is... Wow, what a film. What an incredible performance by Ian McGregor. I really love this one. There's something really special on this, and we enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed Mary Palmer Returns. I'm not a bad sequel to the first one. Um, You know, Emmy Blunt did a wonderful job as Mary Poppins, and Lynn Manuel Miranda is in this movie, and need I say more, because I love the dude. Haven't seen it, so let's move on. Aladdin. This is a really fun one. I really enjoyed this one. Started by Guy Ritchie. Um, this is one of the better Disney remakes. Um, but, yeah, I can already for a sequel. Hopefully, they'll do a better job on that. Yeah, The Lion King. Um, it's a shot for shot, um, you know, remake, obviously. But, the cast alone is incredible. Um, the visual effects are incredible. But, it feels like, I don't know, I really do enjoy it, but it's just not great, though. Milan, okay, um, this movie was just meh. It's not great. It's not good. I mean, it's beautiful to look at, that's all I can say. Now we got like a Christmas stuff. We got the Santa Claus trilogy, Santa Claus, Santa Claus 2, Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause. Love the first two. Third one, not so much. We have Mickey's Christmas Carol. This is a phenomenal one. This is one of my favorite um a Christmas Carol adaptation for sure. We have the Muppets Christmas Carol. Um, a really good adaptation, but I prefer this version though. We have the Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, just you know, good stuff. We got Mickey Once Upon a, Once Upon a Christmas and Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. Um, so much of favorites. I did watch them as a kid. We have Pepper Landing and Pepper Landing vs. Nice. This is great stuff. This is a phenomenal stuff. This is really good. You know, like um, 20 minutes, I believe, 20 minutes each. Very quick and just very enjoyable. Okay, that's it. That's all my Disney stuff. Whew. There you have it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed me showing you my Disney Blu-ray collection because I love Disney. Everything Disney is my life. Um, I grew up watching Disney movies. Since I was young and still do and still do to this day, um, especially with Pixar movies, um, you know, they're part of my, there's a huge um part of my childhood um for a lot of reason and you know I I just love seeing how my Disney Blue collection has grown over the years because you know they're awesome and I'm I know I'm missing some few of Disney Blue ways like Three the Caballeros um Salos Amigos I'm missing Fantasia on Blue Way that's an out of print one. I'm missing Mr. Ichabod and Mr. Toad and Fun and Fancy Free. Um, I'm missing a lot from the Walt Disney Animation Studios. The Disney that I mentioned, I don't really care about them. Um, I just grabbed the movies I really liked and love, and that is it. And some of the classic, well, no, I really want to get Ben Noms and Boomstick, but I'm going to get that really soon, but not in the rush to getting um, Pixar. I, I have finally completed it. Because since Onward is the most recent um, Pixar film, um, besides Soul, but we don't know that can release on Blu-ray. Hopefully it will on um, 4K, because I know that film could look amazing on 4K. Um, even though it was um, shown 4K in digital streaming, which I did see on Disney+. Plus. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and, you know, showing out my, one of my favorite companies, you know, making great films, um, you know, since the 30s and now here we are it have grown over the years and you know evolutionized um over the years with the technology that they have in their po their po proposal yeah and you know it is you know i mean disney is everything for me um anyways if you're new to the channel please subscribe um follow me on letterbox down below um that's where i vlog a lot of movies um to show you what movies I watched and I did a review of it. 
I'm currently doing the 100 plus movie I have I never seen project for the year of 2021. All the films that I own that are sealed or I have not seen that have been putting off for years and years and years that I'm gonna finally watch them for the very first time. So check it out on my letterbox. I did it like there's a list for that. And yeah, have a good day. Take care.